Hey there, Hightail enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting episode on Hightail Spins, your ultimate source for everything Hightail related. I'm thrilled to be diving into today's topic, which is all about the recently revealed details on fishing in Hightail. Get ready, because it's going to be an adventure. We always love hearing from our viewers, and today we've got some fantastic questions to tackle. Looper asks about the fishing mechanics in Hightail, wondering if it offers something unique. Well, Looper, Hightail's fishing system promises to be a game changer, from using different bait to attract specific fish to the potential for discovering hidden treasures. The possibilities seem endless. And let's not forget about the diverse biomes and how they'll influence the types of fish you encounter. It's all about immersion, folks. Now, let's talk about the future. We know that the developers behind Hightail are no strangers to delivering exciting updates, and a massive fishing update could be on the horizon. Just imagine the potential for expanding upon the already intriguing fishing mechanics we've seen so far. Whether it's new fishing locations, rare catches, or even dynamic weather affecting fish behavior, the future of fishing in Hightail is looking brighter than ever. As content creators, we're always thinking about how to bring you the best Hightail experience possible. When the game finally launches, you can expect a plethora of gameplay videos, let's plays, and update coverage right here on Hightail Spins. But it's not just about us, we want to hear from you too. Share your ideas, theories, and gameplay experiences in the comments below, and who knows, maybe we'll feature them in an upcoming video. From the noble Queeks to the formidable Tror, each faction brings its own unique culture, history, and motivations to the game world. But what happens when these factions inevitably cross paths? The possibilities are endless. Will we see alliances form between unlikely allies, united against a common enemy? Or will ancient rivalries resurface, leading to all-out wars that shape the very fabric of the world? It's a question that has players buzzing with excitement, eagerly anticipating the day when they can carve out their own place in Hytale's ever-evolving political landscape. But faction dynamics go beyond just conflicts and allies. They also offer opportunities for exploration, discovery, and role-playing. Imagine stumbling upon a hidden enclave of Tror warriors deep within a hidden dense forest, or forging alliances with the enigmatic Quebecs to fend off a common threat. These interactions not only add depth to the game world, but also provide players with meaningful choices that shape their own unique journey through Hytale. Of course, speculation is part of the fun, and players have been hard at work theorizing about the possible outcomes of faction interactions. Will the peaceful Quebecs be able to broker peace between warring factions, or will their neutrality be tested in the face of mounting tensions? And what about the mysterious outlanders lurking on the fringes of civilization? Could they hold the key to unlocking Hytale's deepest secrets? One thing's for sure, faction dynamics will play a central role in shaping the player experience in Hytale. Whether you're a diplomat, a warrior, or a lone adventurer, the choices you make will have far-reaching consequences that ripple throughout the game world. So choose wisely, for the fate of Hytale hangs in the balance. In conclusion, faction dynamics in Hytale offer a rich tapestry of storytelling possibilities. Where alliances are forged, betrayals are avenged, and heroes arise to the occasion. So sharpen your swords, rally your allies, and prepare for adventure, because in Hytale, the fate of the world is in your hands. Let's delve deeper into the intricate world of game mechanics within Hytale. While we've already touched upon the fascinating fishing system, there's a whole array of mechanics waiting to be uncovered. One particularly intriguing aspect is the concept of physical elemental damage types. Imagine wielding different weapons or spells that specialize in piercing, blunt, or slashing damage, each with its own unique strengths and weaknesses. This opens up a world of strategic possibilities in combat, where understanding your enemy's weakness is key to victory. But it's not just about combat. Environmental realism plays a crucial role in shaping the player experience. Hytale aims to immerse players in a dynamic world where the changing seasons both are beautiful and challenging. Picture yourself traversing through lush forests adorned with vibrant foliage in the spring, only to find yourself navigating through a winter wonderland blanketed in snow just a few months later. These seasonal changes aren't just cosmetic, they impact gameplay as well. Perhaps certain creatures are more active during specific seasons, or resources become scarce in harsh weather conditions. And let's not forget about the little touches of realism scattered throughout the game, from the gentle rustle of leaves as you explore the wilderness to the flickering glow of fireflies dancing in the night. Hytale's attention to detail is second to none. Even mundane tasks like chopping wood or 
trending to the crops feel satisfyingly tactile. Thanks to the game's intuitive mechanics and responsive controls, it's the small moments of immersion that elevate Hytale from a mere game to a captivating experience that players will return to time and time again. Well folks, that wraps up today's video. We hope you're as excited about fishing in Hytale as we are, because it's shaping up to be an absolute blast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Hytale. Until next time, happy fishing!